Hi, I'm Jilly. And I'm Mark. And you're watching Imagine TV. A few years ago, we went to um, Egypt with our children and we were very, very taken aback with ancient Egyptian times and Egypt Egyptology. And in Egypt, um, in their beautiful artwork sculptures, they placed the head of a animal on the, on the body of a human. And the reason for this was so that the human would adapt, adopt the personality of the animal head. For instance, if a lion was put on the human's head, the human would become very, very powerful. Now, Mark and I have always loved dogs. We're crazy dog lovers. And we love dogs because of their personality. They are loyal and loving and they give you unconditional love. So we said to ourselves, why don't we put the dog head on the human body? Because if we do this, we're going to create a better human. And so that is what we did. And then in time, uh, the dog man needed a partner. So we chose the rabbit girl. And the reason we chose the rabbit girl, because they are an, 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 an unlikely match in the wild a dog would chase a rabbit and probably eat it. So we joined these two um, characters together um, so that we could embrace the fact that in society we are all different and we are all unique and we should accept our dis differences. A lot of the conflicts in this world is because people um, see each other as being different rather than being the same. So we're very conscious of the fact that we've got different colours or different religions and different beliefs. And that's, that's really the reason for a lot of the issues and the problems. All of a sudden we've created these two characters and, and they're kind of freaks, aren't they? It's like it's a, it's a dog man on a naked human body and a rabbit woman on a naked female body. And they've come to life in our sculptures. And we thought a lot of people would be um, scared or think it's repulsive or wouldn't like it. But the fact is the opposite has happened. Our sculptures are now around the world and people write to us and say how happy it makes them feel. They dress them up and put clothes on them, they take photographs of them, they climb in them and ride them. And all of a sudden we, we thought, this is kind of a wonderful phenomena, is that people are seeing these freaks and embracing them and enjoying them. And if they can take a little bit out of that art and see it to other people in different countries, hopefully, slowly, we may understand that we should be celebrating our differences and diversity is a positive um, thing for all people.